Hey guys, it's me, Sung One, and today we're going to be opening a Munch Pack. Munch Pack was kind enough to send this to me. It is filled with international snacks, all kinds of snacks from different countries. So I am very excited to see what's in here because, as I've said before, I love snacks. So let's open this up, shall we? Oh yeah. Look at this, baby. Hola, adventurous eater. This munch pack was made with lots of love by Justin. Thanks, Justin. Our first snack is Popo Muruku. It looks like it's a Malaysian snack? Interesting. And it says it's fish. Fish flavor. Interesting. So they're like these little... Kind of like, um... Not exactly like a circus peanut, but kind of like a little bit, not, it's like dick crunchy, but a little styrofoamy. And the taste is not bad. It's not a particularly strong taste. I was expecting like, you know, a really strong fish flavor, but they're just kind of, you know, not bad, just little styrofoamy crackers. There's a little bit of fish flavor, but nothing too pronounced, but not bad. All right, now we've got Princessa. And this is from Poland, it looks like? Yeah, it looks like it's from Poland. We've got Princessa. Hmm. It's, um, it's like, you know, Nutella, hazelnutty. Very crisp, like, um, kind of like a Kit Kat. There's a taste to it that's not something you normally taste in other um, American chocolates. Almost like, um, like a stronger, nuttier flavor. Now, I'm very familiar with these, and I'm sure some of you have seen these too. It's Hello Panda. Hello Panda. These are double choco biscuits with choco cream. Yep, the familiar Hello Panda taste. If you haven't had one, um, they basically look like this. They've got little pictures on them. It's kind of hard to see, but and they're just like a cracker with, like a chocolate cracker with kind of like a creamy filling inside. Here's a product that I think is also Japanese um, from Matsunaga. It looks very similar to the Hello Pandas, but I don't know what flavor it is just based off the packaging. Oh, so these are just crackers. Like they're flat. This one's got a little, little fox guy on it. It's like an animal cracker, but butter, more buttery, which I like. Um, they're pretty thin, like it's not like a dense cracker, like pretty crisp. And they got fun little characters on them. I'm a new elephant! No, wait, don't eat me now! Haribo Twin Snakes. And these have come in different combinations. Cherry, orange, oh, looks like there are, some of them are sweet, some of them are sour. And this is just an American product, it's just, everybody knows Haribo. They come in one sweet, one sour, it looks like this is... Blueberry and black currant. Interesting. And the blueberry one is sweet. Oh, it looks like you don't. They're pretty wedged together, so it looks like you eat them at the same time. But the sour taste is very pronounced. But you get a little bit of that sweetness from the blueberry. They are very, very chewy. This will take probably like five minutes to eat this one piece. I'll just uh, save the rest for later. Okay. Totus cheese flavored corn puff snack. Looks like these are Mexican. Yeah, Mexican cheese puffs. It looks like it's got this quirky little rabbit character on there. He looks like he's having a good time. These are very orange. Look at that. That's like, like a neon orange. And yet, for something that's so neon orange, the cheese taste is not that strong. Although they are cheesy, and I would say that even though they're not as salty as um, American cheese puffs, they've got a good cheesiness to them. And actually, as I eat more, that flavor is ramping up. And because I love cheese puffs, I just cannot stop eating them. <laughs> Those cheese puffs are bad news because I'm going to keep eating them, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put them down for now. Grisky Go Free. Looks like some kind of waffle snack with a chocolate filling, and this is from Poland. Ah, so it's more like a wafer, it looks like. So the wafer part 
is actually more like an ice cream cone. Like in terms of texture, it's like those, you know, um, what do you call them? Those tiny cones. And it says it has hazelnut pieces in there. Hazelnut pieces. And you get a little bit of texture here and there. But really it just kind of tastes like chocolate between long ice cream cones. Tierniki Kroluski. Tret looks like pretzels. And these are also from Poland. A lot of Polish snacks in this in this bag. In this box. They're good good sized pretzels. Oh, that is very soft. <laughs> oh, they're gingerbread. That's that's interesting. I would because usually with pretzel snacks, you're expecting pretzel, but these are gingerbread shaped like pretzels. The chocolate's nice, kind of a little bit on the, on the dark side, but um, tasty and mm, it's just a nice, cakey gingerbread chocolate covered snack. And that was probably that's probably been the most surprising snack I've had so far. And you get that nice cinnamon taste too with the gingerbread. Those are just satisfying as hell. Amsterdam good cookies. Good. This also looks like kind of like a wafer type of thing. Some kind of filling, which I can't really tell. Uh, it looks very tasty. This almost looks like a caramel kind of filling. Yeah, some kind of... Almost like a molasses -y, molasses kind of chewy, sweet filling. Kind of toffee-ish. That's awesome. <laughs> like, it's got, it's got, it's got, it's got a good crisp to it, but... It's very rich. Chewy, rich, satisfying. Yeah, it lived up to the name. These are good. I'm gonna finish it, probably. It's probably my favorite so far. The door's open now, because my cat wanted to go in here. But anyway, here's our next snack. It's taro-flavored wafer. I actually don't remember what taro is. I think it's like a root, or like a starch? I don't remember. And it looks like this is Japanese as well. I think. Or maybe Chinese, I'm not sure. I think they're Chinese, correct me if I'm wrong. So they've got a very purple, kind of like a dark purple hue. So the texture's like, you know those um, wafers you get where it's like, you know, pink and brown and yellow ones? You know what I'm talking about. It's basically like one of those. But this taro flavor tastes sweet, kind of earthy, like a dark sweet potato. All right, I saved the best for last, because I love Cheetos. And it looks like these are from Mexico. Flamin' Hot. I wonder how these will compare to American Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I haven't had Flamin' Hot Cheetos in a while, but already, these are a lot spicier than um, American Flamin' Hot Cheetos. And the texture's a little bit different. They're airier, I think than our Cheetos. They're like a they're like a crispier and very like in your face flaming flavor. Savory snacks are my weakness, so I also gotta put, I gotta put this one away. <laughs> or it'll be all gone. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you guys are interested in Munch Pack, uh, I'll put the link to their website in the description. You can get the mini for $9.95, the original for $19.95, and the family pack for $39.95. I gotta say, my favorite snack was probably that Amsterdam good cookie. Like, that was great. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.